Hi, I'm Anders Scholen, President and CEO of SNC Electric Company. Today, I'm at our product demonstration center here in Chicago to share some really, really exciting news. For over 110 years, SNC has had a long history of innovation. Together with our team members, it's truly the foundation of our company's success. I see our innovation approach as unique. We work closely with our customers to collaborate and solve real challenges by combining their operational expertise with our technical expertise to truly develop new innovation advancing the grid. Today, I'm excited to launch the latest product in our long legacy of innovations, the Vacufuse 2 self-resetting interrupter. And with more people working from home and increasingly severe weather patterns due to climate change, there's never been a greater need for reliability and resiliency at the edge of the grid. And to address this, we developed the Vacufuse 2 self-resetting interrupter, the only device on the market to bring fault testing all the way to the edge of the grid. And to tell you more about this exciting news, I'd like to introduce Lee Maurer, our Senior Manager of Market Intelligence. Thanks, Anders. Now, the grid has changed a lot in recent years, but regardless of how you're experiencing these changes on your system, what matters most to you has always been the same, and that's keeping your customers' lights on. Now, the majority of overhead faults are temporary, so one of the most effective ways to manage them is by using fault testing devices to keep temporary issues from becoming permanent outages. Typically, fault testing devices are deployed on the main feeder, but SNC has created the Vacufuse 2 self resetting interrupter, which brings fault testing all the way to the edge of the grid. Now, here in this beautiful mountainside cabin, one of the only downsides is that when there is an outage and you're at the edge of the grid, that is a long truck roll to come out and repair a simple issue. Especially as storms become more and more severe and more people work from home, outages at the edge of the grid are having a greater impact than ever before. Now what's tricky about these areas is that issues at the grid edge tend to cluster into pockets, meaning that some customers see outages several times per year. So even if your safety is low, this measurement is averaging out experiences across your whole system. So you may be missing the outliers in your data, which are the customers having a worse experience than average. As we proceed throughout the year here, every single one of these faults is caused by a temporary issue. Had this been a fuse, every one of these faults would have resulted in a long outage. However, SNC's Vacufuse 2 self resetting interrupter is keeping these temporary faults from becoming sustained outages. This device helps target these troublesome areas of the grid and tackle a metric called SEMI, which is customers experiencing multiple interruptions. By bringing advanced lateral protection all the way to the edge of the grid, you'll help reduce O&M costs and improve customer satisfaction even in the more remote areas of your system. Now let's take a closer look at the Vacufuse 2 self resetting interrupter and see how it works. Thanks, Lee. I'm Marshall Monty, Senior Director of Overhead Lateral Automation for SNC. As Lee shared, persistent troublesome hotspots at the edge of the grid often lead to rising O&M costs and customer dissatisfaction. At SNC, we've created a revolutionary product in the Vacufuse 2 self resetting interrupter that replaces the standard overhead distribution transformer fuse with a modern solution for a 21st century grid. With the ability to bring fault testing technology to the very edge of the grid, the Vacufuse 2 interrupter is the first smart device to allow for advanced end-to-end -end lateral protection. It's also easy to install, lightweight, safer for both line crews and customers, and most importantly, it's reliable. The Vacufuse 2 interrupter is a major leap forward with no other device on the market having the same capabilities. This 15 or 25 kV device can protect overhead distribution transformers with a primary voltage anywhere from 7200 to 15,000 volts. It's lightweight, only 12 pounds, has an ergonomic body shape design and a built-in hand grip for easy handling. Because the device is so lightweight, you can easily lift the device into the cutout by hand or with a hook stick. 
Now, it's designed and built to adapt to your system. The VacuFuse 2 interrupter includes standard TCCs or a new transformer-specific TCC option that allows full use of your transformer's overload capacity while still ensuring that fault energy does not exceed safe limits. And as Lee had previously mentioned, the VacuFuse 2 interrupter can prevent temporary faults from becoming permanent outages. Now we know that in this area of the grid, at the distribution transformer, about 70% of the time the faults are temporary in nature. So when this device detects fault current, the vacuum interrupter inside the unit opens and interrupts that fault current. About 45 seconds later, the interrupter will test the line to see if the fault remains. If the issue is temporary, then the vacuum interrupter remains closed and power is restored without the need for an expensive and costly truck roll. Now, let's see how the VacuFuse 2 device manages a fault. First, we'll close it in to the cutout, just like you would a standard fuse. Now, we have a fault generator here and a screen up here with a lightning bolt. When the lightning bolt is displayed on the screen, it means that the fault is present. So what I'm going to do now is trigger a permanent fault. The lightning bolt appears. And you could hear that the vacuum interrupter did open up. Now it's going to come back in about 20 seconds and it's going to close back in. It sees that the fault is still there. So now it's locked out and in a few seconds it will drop open. This will leave the line crews with a visible marker to make it very, very easy to detect, find where the problem is and repair it. This can be particularly helpful when transformers are hidden behind trees, buildings, other common obstructions and can't immediately be seen from the road. Now the device has dropped out, I'll show you how easy it is to close it back in. Now, just like a standard fuse, we pop it in, but let me remind you that this vacuum interrupter right now is open. So when we close it in, it's not actually picking up load yet. It's going to wait for about 20 seconds, charge up from the line voltage, and then it's going to close back in and the load will be picked up not by the cutout contacts, but by the vacuum interrupter itself. So unlike a fuse that can draw an arc when it's being closed in, the VacuFuse 2 interrupter only energizes after it's been fully closed into position, and that provides better protection for crews. Now, as you can see, the VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter is a major technological leap forward, and it's the most technologically advanced protection possible for the edge of the grid. By eliminating the impact of nuisance faults at overhead distribution transformers, your customers no longer will have to deal with the frequent and lengthy outages that we see at the edge of the grid. This is the only solution available today that can improve reliability and address the rising O&M costs of nuisance fuse operations. This is the fuse of the future. Marshall, thanks for that demonstration. I'm Mark Stavnis, Chief Product Development Officer at SNC. Now I'm sure our viewers have some more questions on the VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter. For those of you watching, you're welcome to drop your questions into the Q&A portion of the chat. If we don't get to them now, we'll have a sales rep follow up with you. But let's start with some of our most common questions. Marshall, can I use the same TCC that I currently use for my transformer fuses? Absolutely. The VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter standard will come with a K, KS, or T curve along with our um, transformer specific curves that we discussed earlier. Now in addition to that we can implement custom curves and to do that all you would need to do is contact product management here at the factory or talk to your local sales rep. But one thing to keep in mind regardless of which curve you choose is that since they're implemented digitally inside the device there is no chance for any sort of change or degradation in that curve over time with repeated exposure to faults or transient events. It's great to know that customers can easily replace their fuses and have customizable options available as well. Let's move on to a series of questions on ratings. Does the VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter have an overload rating? Well, like a fuse that you would use with a normal transformer, the overload rating is built into the selection of curve, and that has to do with the fuse type, the speed, and the amp rating that you select. Um, now, this device is a maximum 40 amp rating, so anytime it goes above 40 amps, you're going to see that you have exceeded the TCC that you've selected, so it will begin timing and will eventually drop out on a TCC overload. 
Um, but again, as with any transformer fuse, um, the, the rating that you select for that TCC is designed to prevent the transformer from going into overload. Wonderful. Speaking of high current, what is the VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter's maximum clearing time at high currents? It's fast. The minute you get over 500 amps, we're in what you call instantaneous mode. And at that point, we will clear in one single cycle or less. Excellent. Now let's talk about the life of the device. How many operations is it rated for? At the rated 6.3 kA, the VacuFuse 2 is good for five open-close open cycles. When we look at the sort of fault currents that we expect to see at a grid edge distribution transformer location, now we have a rating of 240 open close open cycles. Okay? Now to put that in perspective, if we have a particularly difficult location where we may see, you know, maybe every, uh, every 90 days, that's about eight times a year. At eight times a year, the VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter will last for 30 years. Great, Marshall. Longevity is critical for resiliency and reliability. Speaking of operations, what do I need to do to ensure the device is fully charged and ready to operate? Okay. Um, the instant you close it into the mount with the handle open, it begins to charge. Now, for the first 30 seconds, you'll see a flashing light on the bottom, and that flashing light indicates that there is voltage on the line and that the device is charging. After about 30 seconds, you'll see a solid light on the bottom. And that means that the device is fully charged and is ready to close. At that point, it is safe to close the handle. And about three seconds later, you will hear the vacuum interrupter close. And now load has safely picked up. Speaking of open close, is there a delay when you close the vacuum fuse interrupter back into the mounting? Well, the only delay is the one that we've built in as I described. However, one thing that's important to remember is that um, for the first 10 seconds after you close it in after a fault event, it will be in non-reclose mode, and we do that for restoration purposes. One final question. What cutouts can be used with the VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter? We recommend that you use a brand new SNC cutout mount with every VacuFuse 2 self-resetting interrupter. And the reason is we've tested a wide variety of these cutout mounts, uh, both ours and third party. And what we've discovered is that there's a lot of variability in the top contact pressure. And now for proper operation and to ensure that we have a low enough resistance at the top, uh, we really recommend that you use our brand new SNC mount. Marshall, thank you so much for all that great information. And thank you all for joining us today. We hope that you've enjoyed our virtual launch of our revolutionary new product, the VacuFuse 2 Self-Resetting Interrupter. To learn more, Please reach out to your local SNC sales representative and visit snc.com/vacufuse.